What's up guys, today I want to do a review of a cool little light, another light by DF Digital Photo. This one's called the Tree Frog and this thing is pretty awesome. Let's take a look. Hit the intro. What? No intro? Oh yeah, some low budget nonsense. Okay, well let's get started. Alright, so you can see here We'll start with the case. Look at this thing. Solid. This is a well-made case. So we're in for something. If the light is half as good as this case, we should get something. All right, so let's go over what this light is real quick. So this is called the Tree Frog. It's an RGB panel light. They call it the pocket size and pretty much is pocket size. You can see it right here. It's IP67 waterproof. It's got tons of effects. It's bicolor from 2500 all the way up to 8500 Kelvin. Has a CRI of 97 plus. So really color accurate. Has like 20 built in effects and some nice uh, nice accessories that come with it so I really like this light because like I have some RGB tubes and it's cool to have some of those effects but sometimes like those lights are too big for the effect to be really practical it's cool that they have them but <clears throat> those are sometimes better off just as the the light so put in light in a scene but something like this and something else about this that I can't really show you right here, but maybe you can. I'm using the magnet that's built in to stick it on my desk. How cool is that? So this gives you tons of different options for mounting it. Oh, and another cool thing about this is it also doubles as a power bank. So if you need to charge your phone or something out in the field, you kind of didn't have all your stuff charged, bam. You can plug it right into the side here, charge up whatever you need to. Uh, this also has uh, overheating protection, so if, if you left it out too long, you left it in the sun, started getting overheated, something like that, it's gonna shut down on its own to avoid, to avoid burning itself up. It's just gonna shut down so you don't burn up your investment here. Has a nice little LCD screen on the back so you can see what you're doing. Tons of buttons for working through all the menus. Everything is weather sealed so that's how you get that IP67. So you can submerge this up to one meter deep and the light's still going to work. I've never put it under the water so I can't tell you if it actually does but usually when I see those kind of things it makes me think more like Okay, I don't have to worry about it getting rained on. I can take it out in the elements. I might not actually submerge it, but I've seen other videos where people did, so I trust that it can, but I'm not doing it. All right, another thing that was real cool about this is some of the different things that come with it. So let's take a look at some of your accessories. So first off, we got this little mini tripod right here. So this is pretty cool. You can just screw it right in the bottom. Right there. And then that gives you a way to stand it up. So if you don't have somewhere to stick it on to or whatever, you just want it kind of standing on a table or something like that. You got your little tripod that comes with it. You got your USB to USB-C charging cable. You got this little lanyard, so if you wanted, you got a little lanyard, so if you wanted to secure it that way, I haven't really seen a need for that. Comes with an extra, it actually has a little iPhone cable here, so I guess this is for charging your phone, so that's cool. Oh, and then it comes with a USB to USB-C adapter. Then it comes with a little bitty, uh, cold shoe mount it seems to snug down pretty good so this would mount it right on top of your camera or something 
that really doesn't seem like the best use of a light like this. There's so many more practical areas where you could use a light like this, but some people like a bright light right in somebody's face, and I guess if you're one of those people, who am I to stop you? If you don't want a delicious soft light off to the side, a little Rembrandt lighting, I mean, that's why my reviews look like you're watching a movie. Other people's reviews look like dog doo-doo because they have a light right on the top of their camera. This is, this is gold here you're getting on these videos. Not to mention all the thought I put into the dialogue. You can tell with all the space and all the ums and all the jump cuts you can see where I ramble and ramble. All right, so we got the little cold shoe mount and then some of the really practical ones that I really found handy was like this little honeycomb grid. So that just attaches right onto the front of your light. Has two little Velcro straps that go around to the back, secures it on, and that really helps with directing the light. Then it also comes with this uh, diffusion filter here. It attaches the same way, just with the two pieces of Velcro. And it really softens it up too. It's not super, it's not super hard light in the first place, but this really softens it up and really gives it a nice pleasing look. My autofocus keeps trying to focus on that guy back there. That mask is much more scary close up. For some reason, looking in the monitor here, it looks like, I don't know, it kind of looks like a baboon's butt, right? From a... You'd see at the zoo, it's a horrifying mask and that's why I put it there. I was hoping to kind of give some edge to these videos. It looks like I have a baboon's ass in the video. I, I apologize for that, I just noticed. So anyway, it comes with diffusion, it comes with direction, it comes with a case, it comes with the light, no, and what's really cool, like I was talking earlier about the effects, is this has like the candle effect, the fire effect, the, our campfire, the ambulance, the police car, blah, blah, blah. All the effects that a lot of the lights have. But what's so much cooler about in this small light is that in a scene, those big lights are kind of cool for pulling it off outside when you want to show, okay, boom a car's going by or whatever but then when you get into sh the person's face and you want to show some dialogue next to the fire or whatever then you have just a small light like this you can have it tucked away anywhere and you just have that fire effect and it's just putting that subtle hint on their face it's perfectly color matched to what fire would be it sells the effect a lot better. So a small light like this, like I'm gonna show a little clip in my movie, uh, not of fire, but where I was filming in a very dark location and I wanted a little bit of light kind of coming in in the corner to kind of sell this pillow that was supposed to have semblance later on in the movie. But to keep the scene as dark as I wanted, the the pillow just didn't show so i ended up taking this with the honeycomb and just kind of mounting it up high out of the scene and by doing that it put down just enough light to kind of light up that corner and show that pillow off without oversaturating the scene and then you're able to kind of make out the pillow you don't know you need to make out the pillow and you can't tell that there's really a light just specifically there for that purpose. But th this thing came in, it was a lifesaver there. So I'll throw that in and you can see it. But all in all, I just wanted to show this light. DF Digital Photo nailed it with this light. A hundred bucks is what it was at the time I got it. I know they vary up and down, but I, th I think you really can't beat it. <laughs> Super well made battery lasts a long time 
very good range, the 2500 to 8500, clean light, lots of, lots of effects, very useful. So I hope this helps. Thanks a lot.